Hello everyone and welcome to week one. I'm going to make a very short video, take you through all the steps. I'll be doing one of these, uh, okay, I'll be doing a video every week. It'll be at the top of the weekly tabs. And over here on the left, now right now you can't see all of these. Uh, this is my view. Right now you only see the week one tab. And if you're watching this video, you saw it was right here. Just a reminder, as far as late assignments go, you always check the My Grades tab for due dates. It's very easy to find. And there are two, you have two days past the due date to turn something in. That's the late assignment policy. Yeah, first day is 20 points, second day would be 10. Nothing's accepted after the second day, period. So, I'm going to click on lecture. Now, uh... This is going to be the same setup throughout the semester. One of the things about an online course, you want to make it where everybody can find everything, and you want it to be consistent. So this is what it will be. There is an overview for every section, a little bit about it. These are student learning outcomes we were required to post, what we're covering. Here is Blue, the certified therapy dog for AMP2. Um, for every section, you're going to have an outline that has lots of information. Uh, a PowerPoint, and there are also videos that go along with the outlines and the PowerPoints. And here's what you're going to be doing for this particular unit. Now, uh, for, the, for the endocrine system, um, week one, you're just going to be doing the first lesson. So I'll go backwards. I'm going to click on study materials. Here is OpenStax, the whole chapter on the endocrine system. If you want to read a little more detailed, uh, nothing for you to do with that at the moment. Here is the documents you can use to study, and then here are videos that go through these documents. And there's three for every section. A little motivation from Independence Day. Here is the outline for the endocrine system. Here's the PowerPoint. You're going to use those to study for your first quiz. And then here is the review right here. And it goes over everything that's going to be on the, uh, the first quiz. All right, I'm going to go back one more time in lecture. So here are the videos. And like I said, these are broken down. Here's part one, part two, and part three. It just goes through the outline and the PowerPoint. I try to keep things short. Sometimes it might go 20 minutes, but you don't want a long video. But if you need something, you want some help with something, uh, there's some videos there to help you through that. So that is lecture class. Now, in the lab class, you do not have an assignment this week. However, same thing. There is an overview. It's not very big. A little bit of what you're doing. Uh, outlines and study diagrams. Uh, once again, a little more motivation from uh, NASA. Failure is not an option. But watch that. It's a great, great thing. Uh, love that movie. Anyway, so here's the outline for the lab here. I'm going to click on this. Oh, should have had this open already. I apologize. My computer is going a little slow too. Okay, let's see. Here's the endocrine system. Here are all of the, uh, here's all the information you're going to be covering. Now, what we do, okay, now here's also a PowerPoint that actually has pictures of the slides and histology and that kind of thing. Let's see, um, come on, one more. I apologize, let me, uh, I should have had these open already. In the future, I will. Love that t-shirt. All right, yes, no, I don't want to do thank you for all the options. I appreciate it. All right, so here are the histology slides. And you're going to be using those now. Once again, you're not left on an island. Uh, down here is a review for the first lab exam. Now, that's not until week four, okay? Uh, just work on your lecture stuff till then. However, down here are the videos, okay? It's this introduction to blood and lab. Now, go ahead and watch that. Um, here are the endocrine slides. Here are the endocrine models. And... They're, they're going to be based on the pictures and the PowerPoints that I used um, in that section. All right, and then here is Padlet. If you haven't ever used this before, just give you a real quick thing. It's 
really cool little thing. The app is the moment. I'm not sure if it's that great, but you can right click on this and uh, it says, um, oh, this frame, uh, open in a new tab or however you want to do it. Anyway, that just kind of makes it full screen if you want to, but these are great. You can click on this. Look, you can bring this up. You can open it in a new window. Uh, it's going to do like this. You can click on it again and boom. It's almost like a microscope. And down here on the bottom, you can go back and forth with it a little. This happens to be a uh, pituitary gland. This is the anterior lobe. This is the posterior lobe. All right. So um, that's Padlet. If you've never used that before. It's pretty cool. You can actually share things to this. You can upload them. Yeah, here is some uh, anatomy pictures. Here's the brain. Same thing. Videos kind of go through those as well. So in the lab this week, just get familiar with these terms. Uh, watch the videos. Figure out how what type of study method works for you. And uh, that's what we're doing in week one. Okay, so really you only have one assignment under the lecture, which was this one right here. Click on lesson one. Um, and I don't mean to bounce back and forth. I'm sorry. I should have went through this the first time. But what you do is you click on these links. Some of you already have. So just don't look away. Okay, there we go. Not supposed to show grades. But here it is. Now, if you've never done these before, uh, there is an introduction. They really don't start till page four. I'd like you to read through the first couple of pages. Up here are all the tabs. See, this one has 26 pages. I see ESPN just uh, sent me an announcement. That's great. But what you can do, read through, and then right here where it has the number one, that's where you're going to start the questions. These are drag and drops. 99% of these questions you can redo again, and you can redo the entire lesson again if you need to. You can do these as many times as you want till you get 100. Um, now at the very end, and like I said, I'm not looking at this in the student view. But you go through, you answer all the questions. Don't worry about taking the survey. But underneath this little blue arrow, there will be a finish button. And you have to click that to submit your assignment to the gradebook. If you do not, it will not save your answers. And it will not show up in the gradebook at all. And after the due date, I'll have to go in there and put a zero if you don't have a grade for this. So make sure you click the finish button. It's very important. It says it when you log in. You got an announcement that said that. And um, anyway, that's what we're doing week one, okay? So email me if you have any questions.